like this one. Yeah, it looks nice. And there's a blue mystery bag back there? It's a little blue mystery bag, so you can't really see it, but... You know what that means? You know what's in there? One Lego. There's, there's <laughs> just, a Lego in there? What's one Lego. Singular Lego? Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's your it. turn to play, right? Yep, it's me. Alright.
last 50 cents. He didn't do much. We got the mystery bag off the back shelf though, so that's pretty Yeah, good. he's falling. Let's see what we got. Let's pull. We have 2775. 27 Lucky Steve Bag Jr. the fourth. Okay, that's not too bad. Lucky Steve Bag Jr. the fourth. Here we go. Yeah, we got his name now. We got his name. He's the name. Gonna keep pulling left. My stanky breath. Window stanky breath. Would you rather have a bad breath or a smelly breath? Bad breath would be good here. Yeah, it would be. Good point for sure, but I don't know about every other, <laughs> other place. Stinky feet, like, I feel like stinky feet are one of those things where you only smell them whenever somebody's shoes are off. No, that's not true at all. I it's, feel like it's pretty. No, rude. it's even worse when you can smell it through, like, their shoes. When well, yeah, but whenever their shoes are off, it's probably even worse than whenever you can smell through their shoes. <laughs> like, shoes mask the smell these feet smell. Not, not always. Sometimes they add on to the smell. So your feet smell so bad that they smell out of the shoes? No, not my feet, but I've, I've known somebody whose feet smell bad like that. I've never. You've never? No, I think my feet have smelled bad from my shoes because, like, they got wet or something like or that. they smell like burritos. Yeah, but that's just <laughs> the shoes. The shoes are bad. That's not from the shoes at all. It's from your feet. That's from the shoes. No, it's not. It's not how shoes work. Shoes don't smell bad to your feet if they're in them. That's true. <laughs> yes, it is. They don't come oh, brand new. When they come brand new in the box, do they smell like smelly feet? No. no. <laughs> But whenever I like get them wet and I have to walk around in them, and after that point they smell. But it's only whenever they got wet, not my feet. <laughs> but they wouldn't be wet if your feet were in them. No, I'm saying like no. <laughs> they got wet because I stepped in like a puddle or like in the river. Yeah, because your feet were in them. You took them on a ride. Yeah, but if I wouldn't have stepped in the water, my feet wouldn't have smelled as bad. <laughs> I know what you're saying. All these. All these palm trees are trying to get even. They're trying to be in one line. It's the conga line. The, the stick stack packs on the, the middle one and the one on the left look like they're kissing glass. They might fall backwards. Hopefully they, they stay are, in the playing field. They're leaning with it. They're kind of twisting them too. They're doing little twists. Oh, they're doing little twists. They're doing little twists. Um, would you rather wear a bib every time you ate at a restaurant or drink from a sippy cup every time you were at a restaurant? I think, I mean, I feel like I'd wear a bib. You think you'd want to wear a bib? Like I feel like I'd probably, well, if I was wearing a bib, people might just be like, oh, why the heck is he wearing a bib? But <laughs> people wear, like, their napkins and their collars. True. Whatever they're eating. So, like, that's, in essence, a bib. It's a makeshift bib. Kinda, yeah. I mean, yes, I would be wearing a bib. I think it'd be, like, a baby bib. That's I, like, I'm a good boy on it. <laughs> people might just think it's funny. Or I'm a really serious eater. You're a real serious eater. You know, like, maybe like, man, that guy just probably does like eating contests. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would definitely drink from a sippy cup. You already do. What? I don't drink from a sippy cup. I'm just playing. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> something I can see you doing it. Yeah, I would drink from a sippy cup. Sometimes they're fun. I think I would never go to get enough liquid to like. Pinch my thirst. No, you get one gulp. <laughs> I'd be like, sucking, like, you're gonna suck on a sippy cup, right? Yeah, you suck on a sippy cup. But if you take the little thing out, the rubber piece and the, the lid or whatever, it comes out fast. Oh, so you got experience. Well, yeah, I grew up with four siblings, of course. <laughs> I made sippy cups like every day. <laughs> Aries still drinks from a sippy cup. Yeah, but. <laughs> Right, we got a sippy cup. Of course, yeah, you gotta make sure the milk tastes good. When you make chocolate milk or vanilla milk. Although I do not, I'm not a fan of vanilla milk. So you just put coffee creamer in the milk. Can you really just put like coffee creamer in? Yeah, I know. It makes it yummy. Or syrup, or strawberry syrup. I, I didn't, I've never liked strawberry milk. 
You've never liked strawberry milk? No. It's one of the best things ever. I really like it. I make it so pink, it looks like bubble gum. Hey, that's too much. <laughs> I used to make really like chocolatey, like chocolate milk. Yes. So that it was like, I don't know, like almost black instead of like yes. brown. It just, it's like that thickness that yeah, you're it literally was tasting your drinking syrup. But, like it was way too much. I was no, like, see back good. now, I'm like, man, that's way too much. It's not way too much, it's perfect. No. Now you just put a hint of chocolate in it. It's literally like just scented chocolate milk. It's not flavored chocolate milk. It's still good. Now, were you gonna ask? 
was. Yeah, that was my next one. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, that one flopped. He's coming up. Two of them are down. They stayed in the playing field, though. They did. They, they, they wanted to go say hey to the mystery bag. And I went like, hey, what's up, mystery bag? I have one quarter left. One quarter. There it is. Come on, big one. Let's see, let's see. All right, let's it wasn't one. too bad. It wasn't too bad. Let's pull. Let's pull. We're doing well. We got 3750. 3750. Mr. Lake Steve A. Jr. the fourth. Ooh, you're trying to speed it up, trying to save faster. Save five times faster. <laughs> I definitely could not save five times faster. I was really struggling with that. <laughs> it was a real tough twister. I don't even know if I did it right. I think you did because the one on the left, he, he's, he's looking really like he's going to go. Yeah, he's oh, leaning. But he's, he looks like he's about to go to the left. Maybe he'll knock the wall in. In the other place? I don't want that. No, maybe he'll take Knock it into mine. Maybe swoop it in. Swoop it. Maybe I'll go to the, I'll go to like the middle right. Try to like turn it or something. I don't know. Maybe that'll turn it. Maybe that'll turn it. That's what I'm hoping for. Because I, I wanted to like fall back towards the middle. It might be. Oh, 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 no! No! Okay, wait. No! Look, we're going to swoop it in. You're going to swoop it in. Swoop it in with the, the tower. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. You just caught it. You just caught it. Yeah, it's uh, not that. It's a it's a pineapple. Ah, we're messing it all up. <laughs> It's a palm tree! It'll be okay, it'll be okay. We'll get it back in. Oh uh, no, I can't the bundle. I was worried about it from the beginning. Have you ever seen those palm trees that have like one leaf? No. They're looking dinky. Oh wait, we have. When we go to the hill and there's always like the little ones that just have one leaf sticking out of it. All they need. That's all they need. <laughs> it doesn't have any more leaves. No! Oh, I thought that was going to be a really good push. That was going to knock this one on the left. All the palm trees are right up front.
like a blob fish. Like a blob fish? Are those even... I, they are, are real. Are, no, I know they're real, but are they pets? That's what I'm saying. You said the weirdest animal to have as a pet. Yeah, that would be weird. Like, yeah, people have pet fish. I don't know if they have pet blob fish, though. Exactly. They're weird. Yeah. They look yeah. like jello. I was thinking like any like sea animal. I was thinking about a whale, but I was like, that's just probably like just we can't keep that in your pool. <laughs> it's too big. But it would be an interesting thing. Okay, not an interesting like pool variant or anything like that. Just hypothetical here. If you had a whale and you kept it in a pool that it could actually like live in, do you think it would be smaller because it only could live in a pool? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it wouldn't grow to the point where it like would lower its size in the pool. Or maybe it would. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, this is too almost oh, it's so big. We need to hang it over the edge. Maybe we could like use it as like a jumping board or a diving board. A diving board? And it just breaks and falls in. Wow, that was so many words. We need the ammo. We're going down a little bit. Well, do you think that you should use these as resistance? Yes. <laughs> I think we need to get the bundle, too. You want to get the bundle? He's thinking of all the lost bunnies. I'm not even going to think about it, though. Okay, I'm not even going to think about it. It's rock quarters. Look at the one palm tree on the right. He is kissing glass. He is leaning to the right. He's He's leaning like he's gonna want to fall on the hopper on the right there. I know. On the right side. Well, the one stinks that I pack is standing on top of the blue mystery bag and it's leaning over the edge. He's leaning over top of the plastic part. I'm just 
I don't know. I'm gonna drop quarters. See where they lie. See where they lie. Wait, where it lies. Oh, he's hanging on! He's hanging on! He's about to go 
rolling, though. He's, he's moving in slow mo. Christian, did I tell you about the dream I had the other day? I don't know. Which one was it? When we ran back in time. Yeah, he did tell me. But <laughs> tell, tell me again. Well, so I had this dream that I was so fast that I ran back in time. And it was 2013. And I was so confused because I was 14 and I was trying to buy something from the store and the lady was telling me that I couldn't buy it because I wasn't old enough and I needed my parents' permission. And I was like, what is going on? I was like, I am 23 years old. And they're like, no, you're not. And I was like, what? Yeah, I was actually 14. It was so confusing because I, I had to go back to school. <laughs> I had to refill like my freshman year of high school like my senior year but it happened so fast I was like what is going on and I knew everything I did now so it was just weird I knew that I ran back in time that would be so weird I couldn't imagine like going back in time to like school and like knowing what you know now and then just being like you'd probably be like wow this stuff is easy or yeah, no way the math I was in I would not know at all I probably wouldn't know it anymore but I feel like in comparison to like assignments that you're given now, a math assignment in high school is probably easy. No, I would have to say no. Just because I am, I am no longer good at math. <laughs> I don't know anything about math. Yeah, I feel like I don't. I definitely don't know math like I used to. But no. I could get it back. I could pick it back up really easily. <laughs> I don't think I would be able to at all. If you go to class and get taught about it again, you. I know I got a C, but like, no. I guess school wasn't that hard for me. I school wasn't that hard. I didn't, have, like, I didn't have like a hard math class or anything. I mean, the worst thing I had to do was write like a paper or book report for my English class. That was like the worst thing I had to do. And no way. In hindsight, now that's easy. I was in, I was in college classes for most of my high school career. It was I terrible. Wasn't. <laughs> it was so bad. I wasn't, but. I guess it wasn't You bad. still have had a bit writing, like, right now you're writing, like, 20 page research assignments. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's gotta be harder than whatever you were given in high school. 100%. But I don't think writing is hard. I think math is hard. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I disagree. I think math's easy. Oh, you finally got it off! Nice. That one 20 guy on the front right here, he's still hanging on. He's hanging on for life. He's hanging on for dear life. He does not want to go in. You know what that reminds me of? What? In a movie. Um, Emperor's New Groove, where they're hanging on, they're like, oh no, please don't let me fall. They're hanging over the pool of alligators, the truck says they're alligators. <coughs> do you think you could actually do that, where you walked arms and climbed up a hill back to back? I don't know. I don't think I can do it, because I'm not very flexible, and I don't think my legs would hurt. <laughs> I feel like you need to have like a certain level of flexibility that I don't have. <laughs> we have a little bit of a jam going back at the back there. A little bit of a jam. The chain's coming out slowly but surely. This guy's kissing glass. He's definitely not moving that much though. No, he's the strong one. I'm pretty sure that one was the tallest palm tree, right? Yeah, it was the very middle one. His bottom is just not even moving. Y'all see a big jam back there. Yeah, it's about that time. In a minute, I'm gonna need a cinnamon roll. 
in my bedroom to feel comfortable. I definitely want to try to make the cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls sound so good right now. I, I'm not, Do you not like sure cinnamon rolls? I'm not, I don't like cinnamon rolls. You don't like cinnamon rolls? Not as much as you do. I'll eat one, I'll eat like, the make them, but then I just don't. I'll never eat them. It's like it's too sweet. Too uh, much sugar. I could eat the whole container of cinnamon rolls. Especially the orange ones. Mmm. Mmm. The orange ones are so yummy. later Yeah, 
Lucky bag, too. Lucky Steve Bag Jr., the fourth. Yup. The third, the fourth. Going. Oh, they're just spreading out.
We get three full stink stack packs. Nice. A nice $2,100. Yes, those are the leaves of the palm trees. Let's see what we got in the mystery bag. What's in that mystery bag? We have a nice little baby mystery bag. What's in here? Oh, wait, it feels a little empty. It's empty. Well, it's a gold quarter. My pipe looking like that you can probably fit this little bag. <laughs> yeah, it's a gold quarter. George will be so happy to have another one. 